Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to do transitions, animations, and timings. Right now, if I were to play this presentation, I would have to click the mouse. You're going to set it up to where it goes automatically. Now, personally, I am not into animation so much. What I would do is I would click on the transitions at the top. I would choose fade. I would come over here to the right and I would choose after seven seconds. I want seven seconds per slide for these. And I would choose apply to all. So now if I click F5 to play the presentation, seven seconds is probably a good amount of time for these slides, but not for the first. So go back to that first slide and maybe bring it down to about two seconds. And for this slide, maybe five, test it. If you think it's too fast or too slow, then you can change the timings on each slide. So now if I click F5, You want to give people enough time to actually look at the pictures and to read what the labels say. Now, if you really want to have animations... Please know what you're doing before you do animations. The last thing you want to do is bore your audience. Once you have selected what you want to animate, you come up to the animations option at the top and these are your animation choices. So I might have the title fade in and then I'll have my name come out. Maybe I'll have my name split. I'm going to click the preview button so you can see what this looks like. Preview is in the upper left corner. I want the split to go the opposite direction for my name. So I'll click on that. I'll go to effect options and I'll choose vertical out. I'll go to the next one. I'll have my title fade in and then I'll click on the bulleted points and I'll try to have that maybe wipe. I'll go to the next slide. I want to really encourage you to try this. If you make people wait for every image to come out one at a time, you're probably going to lose your audience. So I'm going to show you a quick way to get the images out there without making people wait too long. So I'll click on the title first consistently on every slide. I'll have it fade. I would then have my images come out by holding down the shift key for the images. Make sure they're all selected. It's really important. Once they're selected, I might try wiping and I'm going to change the direction from the left. I'll select all the labels. I'll select the animation. Now if you think that's too slow, you can come over here under duration with the animations selected and you can speed it up so it goes faster. I strongly encourage you to do the same animations consistently on every slide. I would go to the next one. I used Fade under Animations. I then selected the images at the same time. With the images selected, I chose Wipe. I changed the direction from the left. I then selected the labels, Wheel, and I sped it up. If you want to check, you can go back to the third slide. I'm going back to my third slide to investigate how I set that up. And I set it to 125 for the duration. And that's what I did here as well. So I would continue to set up these animations. The problem with animations now is when I set up the timings, it was perfect when I didn't have animations. Now if I play my presentation, it's not going to work. So if you're going to do animations, you want to go ahead and go to your first slide, go to the slideshow. You're going to then choose Rehearse Timings and you're going to start clicking. And every time you want it to move forward, you click on the mouse to get it to go to the next slide and you keep clicking. I'll give the audience enough time to read the labels and then I'll click for the next slide to go. Because I do not want animations, I have to go back to these slides to remove those animations. I choose the animations option, I choose animation pane, and I have to select these and hit the delete key to get rid of them. I would then go to the next slide and delete those. Look at all those animations. 
but this is where you would go to access those animations. I tend to discourage my students not to use animations because often they set up the animations in such a way that they make the audience wait really long. And they tend to lose their audience. Oh my gosh, that was just awful. I have to go back to my timings, go to transitions, I select seven seconds, I choose fade, apply to all, I then go back to my first slide, I give that two seconds, and I give that second slide five seconds, and now the ones with images have seven seconds for people to view. Now when I click F5, it goes on its own, and there's enough time for people to view and appreciate my images with the labels. This concludes the session on how to set up transitions, animations, and timings. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.